Nice guys get more sex according to research. If you need an enormous motivating shove to carry out good deeds, science has found you the golden push. The evergreen notion that nice guys and girls finish first has finally been supported by Canadian researchers. However, in a dog-eat-dog -dog world, is being nice a costly trait that can hinder one's potential to level up? The answer is no. Basically, science concludes that the more kind you are, the more sex you'll be gifted. All hell science, am I right? In one study, 800 people were interviewed about their sexual history and how often they participated in charity work, blood donation, aiding strangers across the street, and other altruistic-like behaviors. Not fully trusting their participants' level of honesty, researchers conducted a more accurate study to test their hypothesis. In this study, 524 college students were questioned about their sexual participation and asked a question tailored to measure their level of altruism. The question was, if you won $100, would you donate it all to charity, keep all of it, or give some to charity and keep some? Both studies reported that those who are more kind had a higher sexual history, casual sex, long-term relationship sex, marital sex, and etc. Why do these do-gooders have a special advantage in the sexual world? It's common knowledge that, from an evolutionary point, women are attracted to men who possess resources and are generous with those resources. In hunter-gatherer cultures, a man's ability to return to his tribe with an abundant amount of meat equates him to being a much more viable partner. Generosity goes hand in hand with being altruistic. It appears that altruism evolved in our species in part because it serves as a signal of other underlying desirable qualities, which helps individuals reproduce, says lead researcher Professor Stephen Arnocki. Therefore, being kind is a biological imperative. What about the dating impression that women are attracted to bad boys? There's a common phrase that nice guys finish last, and it is absolutely untrue. Chris Armstrong, certified relationship coach, tells Russell, Timid guys finish last. Women are not attracted to bad boys. They are attracted to confidence, ambition, humor, kindness, intelligence, and emotional availability. But our overly broad use of these traits tells us that confidence goes hand in hand with arrogant and loud, ambition goes hand in hand with rich, controlling, and selfish, and kindness and emotional availability go hand in hand with weak and even effeminate. Armstrong goes on to say that these generalized notions makes us think that if one is confident and ambitious, they cannot possibly be, at the same time, kind and emotionally available. All this adds up to a pretty crystal clear conclusion. If you want to get a little, consider giving a little. Make efforts to be a better human being. Not only will it contribute to a less awful world, it might just help you get some action. If you like this video, be sure to check out our other social media for more content. And don't forget to subscribe! Thanks for watching!